Well, when you look at tech, you mentioned tech stocks. Microsoft briefly overtaking Apple uh, as the world's most valuable company yesterday as, as Apple faces pressure on the slumping iPhone demand. In, in terms of this volatility in technology, I, I know they're not trying to time the market. How much are they invested with, within tech versus elsewhere <clears throat> within equity? So within the public equity exposure, uh, the growth is in index funds to avoid just this problem. But the largest concentration of specific stocks is all the fangs. And then now you get the turbulent That's waters. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and exactly. the, uh, Alphabet. And, and now NVIDIA seems to have come into the fore. But who talked about Microsoft? All of a sudden, Microsoft came back after uh, being so moribund. And then you have to look at the specifics, the problems Facebook is having. Members are very concerned about that. And Apple, although Apple is rock solid in its balance sheet, you have the tariff issue that well, could have an impact. I, I just want to point out, though, that investors, if they watched Mornings with Maria and Maria Bartiromo every day, they would know about the success of Microsoft and what was going on at that company for years, yeah. literally. Your interview with Satya Nadella, your coverage of Microsoft before that, but also what was going on with Apple and your interview with Dan Niles mm. well ahead of the sell-off in Apple. So you name it, again, because of the people that you interview on this program, we're giving you a very big Big window into what these companies are doing. And when Dan joined us, when, when I spoke with him from San Francisco, you know, Apple was in this bull market, you know, moment, and he was skeptical. Right. And and it was it, his skepticism was born out of the inventory problem. He said inventories were up 89 percent year over year in the second quarter, and looking at an economy that is poised to slow down. Who's going to buy a $1,000 phone, particularly in China? And he was right. And Apple has sold off since he said it. And I, and, and I think Dan Niles is one of the smartest guys within technology because he does the backdrop analysis. He's looking for real specific reasons of why these st stocks are moving. We, we see it through a different lens. Our members in Detroit are seeing what's happening in the auto industry firsthand. Our members in Seattle see this tension between uh, Apple and what's happening with Amazon in Seattle and what's happening in Microsoft. So when you're on the ground and you're an active investor, you can get the same kind of sen same kind of leads. Right. I, I just want to point out, like, the administration gave a bit of a bailout, a handout to farmers hurt by the retaliatory tariffs from China, which we saw in the GDP report yesterday. So how long does it take for these automakers to come calling and say, where's our handout? Because the president is threatening well, import tariffs on small cars, but threatening to take away at least the subsidies on General Motors, which, by the way, start going away. They shortly. got their handouts, didn't they? The yeah. automakers? Ten years ago. Well, the Ford did, uh, they got, the they got, they got a bailout. For Ford electric did. cars, they want to keep going. But th they want that $7,500. That was what I said yesterday. The $7,500 tax credit that you get for buying an electric vehicle makes certainly the Chevy uh, bolt more attractive. They want an extension. Their tax, th th that tax break for GM expires shortly because they've hit that 200,000 vehicle th threshold. So we can talk about the tariffs. But again, these things are hard to quantify until they start showing up in layoffs of almost 15,000 sure. individuals. It's, it's hard to know what the real impact is of how businesses make decisions about future investment. And, and what you're saying is it's a slippery slope. Farmers want help. Maybe the autos will want it. Maybe right. somebody else oh. will want it. It, it, right? yeah, exactly. How do you anybody say no to other people, anybody you know? hit? How about pipeline builders? Exactly. They're, they're all the, the anybody who uses steel and aluminum in this country. And I pointed out yesterday when the president was tweeting about more tariffs on small car imports. I just said. You know what? Anybody who says that the president wants zero tariffs or none might all follow him on Twitter. Mm. Yeah. You know, the only thing I want to say is that it's true. It's a slippery slope. Our members are fervent capitalists, but we wouldn't have an internet without government uh, investment. We wouldn't have a space program without government. So there are critical industries that private industry doesn't support. We can debate it, but the <laughs> facts are we got an internet, we have a space program, and we have some alternative energy projects, and they all got paid back to the energy department, well, notwithstanding the, the, Solyndra. Well, the Treasury <laughs> lost $11.2 billion on the, just the General Motors bailout, yep. so that didn't get paid back. Not, yeah. not much happened on the Internet before they commercialized it. Right. <laughs> Anyway, it's <laughs> Michael, it's great to get your insights this morning. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Michael Sonnenfeld joining us there at Tiger 21. 